Have you ever made a purchase and then later go, well, I think I wasted my money. Or maybe you've been somewhere and maybe you've watched a television show and you think, well, that's 30 minutes. I'll never get back. And you think you've wasted your time. In our text today, there's someone who thinks, well, another person has wasted something. And my question is, well, was it wasted? Let's look at Matthew chapter 26. Matthew chapter 26, beginning at verse 6. Matthew 26, beginning at verse 6. Now when Jesus was in Bethany at the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very costly perfume, and she poured it on his head as he reclined at the table. But when the disciples saw this, they were indignant, saying, Why this waste? For this perfume might have been sold for a high price and the money given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you bother the woman? For she has done a good work for me. For you always have the poor with you, but you don't always have me. For when she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. Truly I say to you, wherever this gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be spoken of in memory of her. Well, that came true, didn't it? Because here we are, 2,000 years later, give or take, and we're talking about this event. We're talking about what this woman did. A very costly flask, bottle of perfume. Now, some have tried to go and figure out how much this was worth, but I think the estimate is that it would have taken her most of a year in order to save up the money to purchase this. It was something very special to her. It, it had a, a purpose. It had a value. Maybe it was an heirloom. Maybe it was something that she was saving for her wedding day. Maybe it was something she was saving for her own burial. Whatever the purpose, it was very valuable. But there is something about Jesus that she is so in love with who he is. She's so appreciative of what he teaches that she is willing to sacrifice one of her greatest possessions for him to show her honor, her praise, her glory of him. And really that leads us to this. Was that then wasted? We can look back now and say, well, no, it wasn't wasted because Jesus says it, you know, it, it became a lesson and, it, and it's for his burial. So no, it wasn't wasted. What would we have thought when we were there? Would we have been like the, the, the disciples, specifically Judas? Hey, th this is a waste. We could have sold that and done a lot more good with it. Or would we have understood immediately? I, I would think that we would probably tend to be more like the disciples than we want to admit. That we would at least be thinking, why is she doing this? There are other ways to, to show Jesus you appreciate him. What is it that's leading her to do this? Maybe we do the same thing today. Maybe... We don't understand how someone can be so devoted to God that they seem weird to the world. Well, the truth is, they're like this woman. They see the value in Jesus. They see the value of Christ. They see what he has done for their life, and they're willing to give all. Which leads me to my final question. What are we willing to give up? for God. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the blessings you give us. Father, when we think about the sacrifice that you made through Christ, that he made on the cross, giving up everything, from giving up heaven to live on earth and giving up his life and his blood and a horrible death, for us. Father, the things that we give, then even the greatest gift we could give pales in comparison. So Father, help our life. Help us to focus our life on you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to take a week break. I'm glad for the break, but I'm glad to be back with you. I do look forward to these, and I hope you do as well. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day.